is that 20 minus N1, which is this. So you're looking at 20 divided by 9, that's 1.4. Then 2566 six, also divided by the denominator 10 and 10 minus 1 will give you this. So my standard deviation for x and y respectively when I multiply them divided by the whole variance between x and y, this gives you r. In this case, r is 93 watt cent. Means that there is a strong relationship between the number of commercials we we uh, undertake and it's between number of commercials and sales 93 percent okay that is it don't worry about the algebraic equivalent i'm not going to ask you Doctor, any... yes any question uh, please uh, the the 11 i didn't get that okay the 11 is the covariance between s x and y which is given as this. This is the covariance, the difference between them. So what's here in our first, that's the actually the numerator, okay? So when we come here, this is the explanation here. Once we know x i minus x bar, then y i minus y bar, we should be able to solve it. So this is a summation. This say that, this times this multiplication here, whatever difference you find here, times whatever difference you find here. So one times minus one is one. Two times six is four. Okay. Um, Doctor, please, I get yeah, I get that one. So it means that uh, would they give you the only the x bar and the y bar, and then you'd have to compute. No, for no, the... no. I only give you x values and y values. So we say that. In some, we say X is, Y is dependent on X, okay? So I'll be explaining dependent and independent variable, but you are only going to be giving these values, this. You have to create this column, that column, this column, then this column and that column. All these must be created by you, by using the formulae, or the formula I provided. Please, is that okay? Yes, doctor, that's fine. That's fine. Any other question from anybody? Perfect, so I said ignore this, okay. Then <laughs> we can go further. Example again, what I have here, this info. So I can also give you just this information and ask you to compute R. That's the correlation coefficient, okay? We are, I'm not using this, I'm not going to do this algebraic equivalent, so, but it's the same thing, we'll come back to the same value. So that is it about the correlation. So using the manual means the information, the data given to you, you should be able to estimate the correlation coefficient to tell you the strength or the linear relationship between the linear association between the two variables that you've selected. We can go further to do hypothesis testing, okay? But as I said, the time time is not favorable for us, so I'll come back to that. But I want to talk to you about regression, okay? As I said, knowing the strength of association is not enough. We need to go further to find out what happens to one or the other if there are increasing or decreasing what phenomena. And like I said, between working capital and profitability, I mean, literature over time and it's still there, though they're using different uh, techniques to find literature over time, I've estimated that or empirically determined that working capital actually influences profitability, okay? And by working capital, by now, all of you have done uh, business finance, so you should know what working capital is. I'm not going to go into that much, okay? Or I can say that students who pay attention in class, their performance 
they perform better in the exams. Students who pay attention in class or students who are vigorously learning performs better in exam. How do I have to do that? I need to define dependent variable and independent variable. And that is what we say we are using what regression analysis. Or I want to even predict based on historical data that I have, I want to predict what will happen or give some clue about what will happen in the future. Like this 2020 election, you know, over time, the election result has been that whoever wins Greater Accra region, Central region, and uh, which other region? Central Greater Accra and Western automatically wins the election. This has been done with historical data over time. But this year, 2020 election, NDC, I'm told, won Greater Accra region, but they couldn't win the swing regions, which is Western region and the Central region, if the data provided by the Electoral Commission is right. I'm not here to do politics. But we are saying that based on historical data, we can also estimate or predict what will happen in future. And that is where regression analysis comes in. So we need to know dependent variable and independent variable. Dependent variable is the variable we wish to explain. The variable we wish to explain. Then the independent variable, the variable that is used to explain the dependent variable. Which one depends on the other? Profitability depends on the working capital. Okay, so in this case, we say that profitability is the dependent variable one. Then you may have several other variables. Okay, and that one we can go further to estimate. So let's see if you are looking at a relationship between X and Y, then we can describe them as they have a linear relationship as long as what happens to X affects what Y. Okay, by that, we have what we call the regression model. Okay, and this is the regression model in simple term. Y here is your dependent variable. As I said, in this case, profitability will be a dependent word variable. Then working capital will be the independent variables. Under working capital, you may have several, several components. What happens to this component if they change? How do they affect profitability? So usually we say the beta naught, this guy is the intercept. If you are drawing a slope, a straight line, okay? Don't worry, we'll discuss this when I pick a question, but this usually we say is a constant value. Okay, then the error term actually is telling us that other factors may be explaining the differences in working capital behavior, other factors, but we have only selected just these factors, which is the X factors. So this will help us to reduce the noise or the errors in terms of the data that we collect to estimate the profitability. Okay, so let's go further to, so, Please note that this is what we'll be using. What I have estimated regression model. Because we are using sample, we need to use the estimated regression model. Okay. The first one is the population regression, if we want to estimate that. Okay. So please note this. How to compute B and B1 is our problem. How do we estimate the regression intercept? And how do we also estimate the regression slope? As for X, X will be given to us. Our quest, and to find Y, Y is dependent on when what you get for B0 and B1. So let's pick, this is how to compute B1 and B0. 
okay? Remember, we've already talked about X bar and Y bar, and X minus X bar, Y minus Y bar, we've talked about this. This is simply said as the same thing. Then B naught, we know Y bar. If we find B1, and we also know X bar, we should be able to calculate what? B1, a B beta naught, okay? And this one is the algebraic word equivalent. Don't worry, well, I'm just using the first one for you to understand. So we said B naught is the estimated average value of Y when the value of X is zero. Means that all other things being equal, if nothing is happening in the market and we don't know the changes in X, Y will be equal to B naught. All other things equal then B1 is the estimated change in the average value of Y as a result of what? A unit change in X. For every unit change in X, this guy here will give us the estimated value, okay? Then based on that, we can either use a software to calculate the coefficients for B0 and B1, or we do it manually or we can use Excel or Minitab. Then we can go on to use other, but there are regression models or regression, uh, yeah, based on the computer base, you can go to data analysis, you see regression analysis, then you use that one to compute the. So let's see this example in simple term, okay? Uh, a real estate agent wishes to examine the relationship between the selling price of a home and its size measured in square meters. So that's the square feet influences the price of the house that you are going to buy. In Ghana here, mostly that's what people price. 70 by 100 or whatever. They tell they have a three bedroom built and it is on the very particular size of a land. And based on that, it should pay higher. And sometimes the location influences the price, okay? But let's look at this in simple term. So a random sample of 10 houses selected, okay? In this case, house prices is influenced by what? The size of what? The land. So we say that everything that happens to the house prices depends on what? The size of the land on which the house is what? Built. So we will refer the house prices as a dependent variable. Please note that. Dependent variable. Then we will refer to square feet or the size of the land as the independent variable. If we include location as part of the analysis, location also becomes independent variable. So there could be several independent variables, but you can have one dependent variable. At your level, that's what we can discuss. You have several independent variables and one dependent variable, okay, or just two independent or one independent variable, which we want to see how it affects the dependent variable. So if I'm using Excel, my problem will be solved easily, okay? I have to get data under my dependent variable, which is house prices. Do the same thing for my independent variable. Then I have to come here, click on data when I go to Excel. When I click on data, it gives me several statistical tools or techniques I can use. Because we are using regression, I select regression. Then I'll go through these steps to compute that. When I compute this, this is the Excel output, computer generated results. Do you see that there is F here? F computed. Actually, Excel put together all the, sorry, regression put together and over the correlation that you are using and the t-test that we've already estimated. Everything comes down to regression output. 
So we are going to take our time to explain this one by one because this is just the Excel output that we have seen, okay? Remember, we are saying that if I ask you to write a regression model, okay, or the equation, we are saying that house prices define as Y, which is giving us what? The beta naught plus beta one, and here uh, X, 